Starting off with the time when Oda revealed that Blackbeard has a family. See, Teach was allowed to join Whitebeard's crew because he claimed not to have a family. But that was a complete lie. In Volume 8 of One Piece magazine, Oda revealed the sketch of Blackbeard's mom and his two sisters. Blackbeard was born on August 3rd, which is represented numerically as 8 slash 3 and reads Yami in Japanese. Yep, it's a nod to his devil fruit, Yami Yami Nomi. It's well known that Blackbeard was named after a real pirate of the same name. One thing that may not be as well known is a connection between Blackbeard's devil fruit and his real world counterpart's behavior. When Blackbeard uses the dark dark fruit, black smoke is often seen curling around him. This is likely a reference to the fact that the real Blackbeard used to put candles in his hair and light them so that the smoke would make him appear more intimidating. Okay, this was crazy, but Blackbeard isn't the only one who has a real counterpart. See? Whitebeard is inspired by real life Blackbeard and Oda's bartender friend, but the essence of his character comes from a warrior monk named Musashibo Benkei. Like Benkei, Whitebeard carries a Naginata, is super strong, and is far larger than the average human. Also, both Benkei and Whitebeard perished on their feet after being pelted with projectile weapons. That brings us to Whitebeard's weird pets. According to Oda in the SBS, Whitebeard has a pet dog who also has his signature mustache. It's a tiny white dog named Stefan. Whitebeard often pretends to use its mustache as a boomerang, even though he also has the same mustache. It's too bad that Stefan doesn't actually show up in the main series because it's fun to imagine what sorts of interactions the Whitebeard pirates would have with a pet. Whitebeard pirates' first division commander, Marco the Phoenix, seems to have a strong connection with pineapples. From his hairstyle to his favorite food, Hori, which translates to phoenix pear, is an older Japanese word for pineapple and a subtle nod to his devil fruit. The Whitebeard pirate crew is undeniably among the most renowned pirate crews in One Piece. And aside from Straw Hat's crew, most of us would have preferred to be a part of it. However, Oda's preferred crew may surprise you all, as Oda stated that if he had been stronger, he would have preferred to join the Blackbeard Pirate crew over the Straw Hat crew and the Whitebeard Pirates. Dang. Oda got his priorities straight, but I don't blame him. The Blackbeard Pirates have some of the coolest members, and one of them is the teleporting sniper Van Auger. Van Auger is based on an Italian religious figure called Auger, who made predictions based on the behavior of birds. And guess what? Their similarities goes beyond just name. Van Auger is also religious, and in his first appearance, he shoots down seagulls in order to make predictions about them. Moving on, did you guys know that the name of one member of the Blackbeard Pirates might have caused a lot of trouble? See, in in the original Funimation dub, Jesus Burgess's first name was changed to Jesus. This was done to avoid any religious association with the character. The way Funimation preserved the original pronunciation while changing the spelling is commendable. We cannot imagine One Piece without the presence of Blackbeard Pirates. But what if I told you that the crew we know as the Blackbeard Pirates was never meant to exist in One Piece? Yes, you heard it right. Oda revealed that he had originally planned to name Blackbeard everything D teach. Meanwhile, Van Auger would have been known as Van Wago, and Jesus Burgess as La Paix Jesus. Vasco Shot would have been known as Basurero Shot, and he would have resembled a Viking. Katarina Devon would have been a more conventionally beautiful woman. There were also three additional members that Oda considered. A jester named King Joker, a fox-like woman called Kitsune, and a man named Last Lion. Oda decided not to continue with these characters, but he did repurpose elements of King Joker's design for Vasco Shot, and gave Katarina Devon the ability to transform into a kitsune. Well, it's sad that we didn't get to see the beautiful version of Katarina Devon, but this doesn't mean that Blackbeard pirates don't have any beauties. Tori and Maki are the two members who don't have any particularly significant role besides being good looking. Their names actually reflect this fact. They're a pun on the phrase Tori Maki, which means entourage or hangers on. Now let's dive into some intriguing facts about the revolutionary army. Did you guys know who the shortest giant is in One Piece? It's none other than the digging fruit eater, Morley. Look, in order to be considered a giant in the world of One Piece, one must be 12 meters or 39.3 feet tall. Morley barely makes it past that limit at 41 feet 1 inch, making them the series' shortest giant. Okay, so what's the weirdest attack in One Piece? If you think ramen kempo or centaur attacks are weird, then you missed the real deal. The Bankoff's death wing has to be the most ridiculous attack ever, because Bro can generate strong gusts of wind simply by winking. 
King. What makes it even goofier is Oda's confirmation that Ivankov's unusually long eyelashes are real, not fake. Okay, sometimes Oda goes a bit overboard with his crazy imagination. For example, when Oda saw the painting Liberty Leading the People, he decided almost immediately to incorporate a character based on it. Bello Betty's appearance and abilities are based on this painting itself. Furthermore, Oda took Ivankov's inspiration from Dr. Frankenfurter's Rocky Horror Picture Show. He also had another model in mind, actor Norio Imamura, who was the first voice actor to play Ivankov. This is insane, but it pales in comparison to the time Oda named a character after an animal, but forgot that humans and animals have different appetites. Look, Koala gets her name from this animal, and her favorite food is chimaki, a leaf-wrapped glutinous rice flour dish. Her fondness for chimaki is directly linked to her name, as koalas spend most of their days eating leaves. Moving on to the next fact. Did you know who One Piece's youngest pirate captain is? See, most pirates don't make it to captain until they're adult. In fact, most don't even start pirating at all until they're at least teenagers. However, Big Mom is a noteworthy exception. After accidentally destroying her foster family, he became the leader of the Big Mom Pirates at the young age of six years old. The crew has expanded significantly since then, growing to revolve around her enormous family. Dang, Big Mom really made piracy a child's play. Mentioning Big Mom, did you guys know that the Big Mom Pirates are the largest continuously existing crew in One Piece? They have been around for 62 years. Well, whether it's because of tight familial bonds or because Big Mom siphons out her underling souls if they try to leave her, the Big Mom Pirates have been operating for a long time. Bro, Katakuri really was proven to be a man of honor during his battle with Luffy. And you'll admire him even more when you learn about our boy's sleeping habits. Katakuri sleeps while leaning against a wall. Weird, right? He does it because he takes pride in the fact that his back never touches the ground, implying that he does not need rest or has never been knocked down by an enemy. Dang, bro is a giga chad for real! Have you guys ever wondered how Katakuri eats in front of people? See, Katakuri has a slit mouth and he is very cautious about it. But that doesn't mean that he doesn't eat with other people around him. He just eats so fast that people can't even catch sight of his slit face. For this reason, he does doesn't like foods that can't be consumed quickly. For example, he dislikes hot ramen because he wouldn't be able to hide his mouth while eating. From Katakuri on to Cracker. Cracker's name has a clear culinary meaning that corresponds to his devil fruit, the bis bis fruit. However, it also has another meaning that may not be as obvious. Firecrackers. His hair is made up of two long strands with sparkly appendages on the ends. This is likely to be a reference to his name's other possible meaning. God damn it, that was some sick wordplay by Oda right there. Now we have some dope facts about Wano art. For example, Oda already foreshadowed Kanjuro's potential betrayal. See, Kanjuro's brush brush fruit is connected to ink or sumi. Ink is usually black or kuro. Black ink can be read as kurozumi, his true origin. That must be evident to the Japanese speaking people, just like the next fact. Kikunojo's name comes from Sagawa Kikunojo, a guild known for men who played female roles in kabuki plays, which actually makes sense. Talking about name, Kinnaman's name comes from a famous Showa-era actor named Yorozuya Kinosuke. Now let's talk about the question that bugged many One Piece fans. But before talking about that, if you are still watching this video, that means you are liking it. Why don't you subscribe? That helps a lot. Thanks. Look, Kawamatsu spent 13 years in prison, eating poisoned fish every day. That would have been fatal for most people, but Kawamatsu not only survived, he gained incredible endurance. How did he do that? Well, if you don't know, Kawamatsu is a pufferfish man, which means his body was already filled with toxins. Actually, pufferfish create toxins by metabolizing bacteria, and this was also the reason behind his enhanced endurance. Okay, this has to be the most wholesome fact of this video. Did you guys know that Kazuki Suki Odin's name refers to Odin, a Japanese dish that's often served during the winter, and the nine red scabbards pay homage to Odin with their favorite foods. Each of them enjoys a different ingredient that makes up the dish. Kawamatsu likes eggs. One of Kinemon's favorite foods is daikon. Denjiro is a fan of beef tendon. Kikunojo enjoys shirataki noodles. Raizo has a soft spot for fish cake stuffed with burdock root. Nekamamushi loves fish paste. Ashura favors mochi kinchaku. Inurashi likes chicken wings. One of Kanjuro's favorite foods is cabbage roll. Notably, he also hates peaches, momo, which matches his distaste for momonosuke. That brings us to the fact Brooke is the creator of Nekomomushi. Actually, Brooke's voice actor, Cho, made up a song about going to see Nekomomushi. Nekomomushi meaning cat viper in Japanese. Oda enjoyed the song so much that he created a whole character around the name and incorporated the song
song itself into the series. Earlier in this video, we talked about what Blackbeard pirates are supposed to be according to the early drafts. The same can be said about the Akazaya Nine Samurai. Initially, they were a group of four samurai named Kinnaman, Black Crow Raizo, Jushiro of the Mist, and Muzan of the Moon. Although Jushiro and Muzan did not survive the draft stage, Jushiro's epithet and penchant for chasing after ladies were repurposed in the final version of Raizo, and Muzan's paintbrush blade was given to Kanjiro. Another character named Hazaburo was introduced, who was likely an early version of Denjiro. After that, the group was reconfigured as the Seven Scoundrels. Many of the characters were present. Kinemon, Kanjiro, Raizo, Ashura, called Shutenmaru, Kawamatsu, called Kawamatsu Jiu, and Denjiro. There was also a character named Tenguyama Hitetsu, who was a swordsmith who collected Kokeshi dolls. This character was eliminated from the group's final form. Bro, I can only imagine the mental tussle Oda goes through. Denjiro is one of the most interesting guys in the Akazaya Samurai. As his alter ego, Ushimitsu Kozo, he steals from the wealthy residents of the flower capital and redistributes it to the impoverished residents of Ibisu Town. To many Americans, this sounds like Robin Hood. But he was based on Nizumi Kozo, a Japanese folk hero from the Edo period who also robbed the rich to give to the poor, but was executed for his actions. Y'all must be aware of the game Among Us! When Kanjuro's betrayal was revealed in June 2021, the video game Among Us was at its height of popularity. Toei Animation promoted the episode's release with an Among Us themed tweet. In response, the official Twitter account of Among Us also tweeted, Kanjuro, why? Unless you speak Japanese and are familiar with a variety of regional Japanese accents, you may have difficulty distinguishing Ashura Doji from the other characters. His accent is typical of Kagoshima Prefecture, a prefecture on Kyushu established during the Meiji period as the country moved away from isolationism. Nobuo Tobita, his voice actor, is from Ibaraki Prefecture, which is located in Honshu's Kanto region. That's some impressive accent work. Now we would turn our attention to the Beast Pirates, beginning with a question that had been bothering me for a long time. Why didn't Black Maria's Zoan form look the way one might expect it to, despite having consumed a literal spider devil fruit, she manages to retain her human form even while transforming, which doesn't make any sense. Well, Oda already explained that she uses a drug to make her form look more attractive, which is similar to Chopper eating Rumble Ball. Another interesting thing about Toby Rappo is that all of them are inked except Ulti. Either she doesn't have any tattoos or it is not visible. See, gifters are people who consume a smile and were lucky enough to actually gain Zoan type powers from it. Pleasures gained no powers but did lose the ability to swim, as well as the ability to express any emotions other than happiness. Waiters were foot soldiers who hadn't yet had the chance to try their luck with a smile. Based on the fact that there were about 20,000 total members of the Beast Pirates, 500 of them were gifters. Only about 10% of the people who eat smiles gain powers through doing so. This implies that there are probably around 4,500 pleasures and 15,000 waiters in the crew. Dang, we have to admit that the Beast Pirate crew is humongous. Did you guys know that most of the main guys in the Beast Pirates are named after different card games? For example, the All-Stars have obvious names like King, Queen, and Jack. Meanwhile, Ulti is named after a Hungarian card game, while Solitaire and Gin Rummy are also named after card games. Queen has to be the goofiest character in the Beast Pirates, and who can forget his crazy song and dance moves? But did you know Queen's design is inspired by the character Obelix from the old comic book series The Adventures of Asterix? On the other hand, and King's design in his Zoan form is based on Rodan, a Pteranodon kaiju that lives in a volcano and has fire-based powers. Senor Pink's backstory left all of us in tears. However, I am not sure if the manga version of his backstory would hit you as hard as the anime version, which is far more likely to make you cry. Actually, the anime included a number of new scenes that elaborate on his tragic past. Besides that, scenes that do appear in the manga are depicted much differently. When Frankie knocks him out in the manga, we don't get to see his facial expression, and his glasses and pacifier are knocked out without fanfare. In the anime, when his sunglasses are broken, they reveal a clear shot of his 
eyes. He begins crying when he notices the rain that his former wife, Russian, adored. When the clouds part and the sun streams down, he sees a vision of Russian and their child. Overall, the anime provides a far more sentimental take on the material. Okay, so Monet is frequently seen wearing a shirt that says, happy, across the chest. This isn't because she's an especially joyful person. Rather, it's because happy sounds almost exactly the same as harpy in Japanese. This was likely an intentional pun. One interesting thing about the Don Quixote pirates is that they take their name from their captain's surname. This is a surprisingly rare method of naming a pirate crew. More often, the crew is named after the captain's nickname, such as the Blackbeard Pirates, or after some attribute that stands out, like the Straw Hats. The Don Quixote pirates got their name from Don Quixote, a classic comedic novel by Miguel de Cervantes, and Rosinante is actually named after the title character's notoriously overworked horse, Rosinante. This puts a new spin on the relationship between the two Don Quixote brothers. The funniest scene in Dress Rosa was when we got to hear Pika's voice. Bro's voice does not match his face, and Oda confirmed that the spikes on Pika's shoulders were not attachments of some kind, but his real shoulders. Actually, he constantly wore a shoulder guard shaped like that during puberty, so his shoulders just grew that way. Let's move on to the next fact. Giola's art art fruit allows her to transform living things into art. While she could probably use any style she wanted, she prefers one that is reminiscent of the works of famous artists such as Salvador Dali, Edvard Munch, and Pablo Picasso. Y'all must have remembered Hotchin of the Arlong Pirate. His design is charming and fun, but it was originally intended to be a lot more conventionally attractive. Specifically, he was going to be a beautiful squid fish woman. That reminds me of the fact that Don Krieg was supposed to be a cyborg. Instead, he ends up with armor and weapons that aren't part of his body. We could go on and on about how One Piece is full of such details and facts, but it also contains a small number of mistakes. Click on this video to find out.